The prophet Isaiah's writings are broken up into three parts, 1st Isaiah, 2nd Isaiah, and 3rd Isaiah. 2nd Isaiah includes four distinct poems called Suffering Servant Songs. The author was referring to either a historical person who had lived before the time of the writings in the late 6th century, or a historical person who was expected to come after the time of the writings, or it could have even have been the Israeli people personified. But the church in its wisdom has taken the suffering servant songs and applied them to the person of Jesus Christ. In Holy Week, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, at Masses, the first reading is one of the suffering servant songs. And then on Good Friday, the first reading is the fourth and last of the suffering servant songs. What I propose to do this week is to take each one of the Suffering Servant songs in turn and let you reflect upon it as it applies to us. The first Suffering Servant song comes from chapter 42. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit he shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the streets. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth, and the coastlands will wait for his teaching. The word of the Lord. And so we can see how this applies to Jesus not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the streets, not making a scene, not rejecting the task that God set before him, not resisting God's call to give his life for the salvation of his people. When we see how the suffering servant song applies to Jesus, we're invited to consider whether that same song can apply to us in our response to the circumstances with which we find ourselves dealing. Should we cry out? Should we resist? Should we rebel? Should we make a scene? Should we pout, stomp our feet? Or should we attempt to be a suffering servant in the model of Jesus Christ? As we proceed through Holy Week, we ask the Lord to help us to resist shouting, complaining, not crying out, not making our voice heard in the street, but rather to try to accept in our lives the presence of God, the will of God, the designs of God, the mercy of God. May God bless you all this Monday of Holy Week.